I don't think we care too much if we're like the underdogs or uh, I mean I don't think we care about what like the outsiders uh, say about us. I mean at least I don't. I mean I don't care if people will hype us up or if people will right. say that we probably will lose. Hi everyone, this is Tom reporting from Worlds 2020 with a bootcamp bubble interview with Rogue's mid laner Larsen from the depths of the Chinese hotel bubble. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, out of quarantine in two days or three days. So, well, that's really nice. Yeah. Uh, oh. Sadly, I played solo queue today and I lost every single game. I was like 200 LP. Aye. So that's really sad. Uh, yeah. But otherwise, it's fine, besides mm. that. Okay, let's start separate from, from playing League. How has it been to be in a hotel room for the past almost two weeks? Uh, I mean, it's not too bad, I think. I think other people uh, struggle more with it than me. Uh, I kind of like when the, that's a bit quiet and like peaceful. It's kind of peaceful. The first week, I kind of liked it, uh, since it's peaceful, as I said. But now, the last week, I kind of just want to get out. It's not like uh, too bad, but it's... I mean, it's kind of annoying being alone all the time, and uh, you kind of lose motivation in a way because you see no people. So you, I don't know it just feels really weird in a way. I don't know how exactly how to explain it, but I know the last week has been really weird, and now we just want to get like the f out of here. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, the the only person you see kind of is when they deliver your food in a hazmat suit or something, right? Yeah, kind of. I mean, not even then. I think we see them really. Mm, yeah. I mean, they like knock on the door and put the food outside, right? Mm -hmm. And how has it been for your teammates? Like, I mean, you obviously play on a daily basis almost together and uh, still communicate. So how has that been on the team? Uh, could you repeat the question again? Yeah. So how has it been to be on the, on the team, to be with Rogue and uh, be separate and practice like this? Uh, I mean, it's not optimal, that's for sure. Mm. I think we struggled a bit with... Uh, the practice in quarantine. Uh, I mean, also screaming Asian teams and Chinese teams is kind of hard. And then, since we don't see each other, there can become some heated arguments. I think. Uh, mm. I think like it kind of makes things a bit worse when you don't see each other, and when the scrims are hard, uh, it becomes a bit rough. So it's gonna be nice to like scream together, and I think uh, practice will be better when we're all like in the same room, and I think it will be more like try hard. Mm -hmm. Uh, for now, we kind of just, I mean, we started the quarantine with playing a lot of league, like first 10 days we played so much league. And now I think people kind of become a little bit burnt out. And since you're alone in a hotel room, it becomes kind of weird. So we decided to chill a bit more and we decided to like play some Among Us in the evening uh, and stuff like that. Just to like relax a bit and uh, not to like get too much, uh, too burnt out already. Yeah, and uh, obviously, I, I uh, we're not allowed to talk about specific scrim results, and specific practice regimen, or or champions you've been playing. But um, I do, I do would like to know because you say you know sometimes uh, things get a bit more dense maybe in the team because you can't see each other, you cannot communicate so clearly. Um, and how is that remedied then? Like normally, when you're in a team, you obviously have your arguments as well, right? Um, you have different ideas about how to approach something but when you can't see each other how uh how do you guys work together to solve this uh i mean we had some arguments like during scrims and then after scrims we kind of had like a uh, discussion like to talk about uh, different like issues we have mm -hmm. and usually it's really nice to have like those uh, big uh, talks because it's solve a lot of issues and People might be like frustrated with each other, but then you like talk about it and it becomes a lot better. It's really important to just talk about it and then you're like fine with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, we have good relationships with each other. Like our team has, everyone has like good uh, relationship with each other. It's not like anyone hates each other. Usually like right. maybe we come tilt at each other for like 10 minutes, <laughs> but then we like each other again. It's just kind of how it works, right? Yeah. But yeah, also Among Us helped, helped a bit, like uh, we were chilling a bit and playing that game uh, <laughs> because the set better friends. Do doesn't that I increase the distrust in each other, actually? I mean, that's <laughs> what people are memeing on Twitter, right, for likes, but uh, I, I mean, for us, it's the opposite, I think, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine so. Now, um, as I said, we're not going to talk about specific uh, results, but I do want to talk with you about your impressions of playing uh, on the Chinese server, the, the super server. 
So how has it been so far? Like like when you arrived, you like can imagine you started playing immediately because well, uh, that's what all you players love doing most. So what what were your first impressions from playing uh, on the Chinese server? Uh, hmm. My first impression was that, I mean, people are saying that they fight a lot and people for sure fight a lot. Mm -hmm. But I also think the everyone is like smarter macro wise in EU. I don't know, it's not really like a mid game and stuff. It's not really any macro, but here I feel like people are actually pretty smart. Uh, and it's obviously a lot of fighting as well, which uh, everyone knows about. Uh, but what's the best thing, I think, is that everyone is like super try hard. Uh, yeah, everyone is like, all the Soika players are like try harding for the life scanner. Obviously, there are some uh, few people that don't, but in EU, it's a lot of uh, trolls, I think, and a lot of yeah, inters and people writing <laughs> chat so much. I mean, here, I feel like people barely write in chat. I mean, I don't understand Chinese, but I, I usually I don't see them typing at all, kind of. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in EU, it will be a lot of keyboard warriors that doesn't really focus on the game. So I think that's the nicest thing that people are really trying here, I feel like, mm -hmm. and focus on the game. Meanwhile, in EU, people tilt uh, way more, I think. Yeah. Well, was it, um, did you adapt quickly to this, well, more fights-oriented style um, on the server? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I yeah. try to not adapt too much because uh, usually the solo queue is just fighting over camps all the time and uh, stuff like this, which it it like the screams aren't the same as solo queue, right? So right. I still try to play like uh, I will do screams kinda, even though you need to adapt a bit in solo queue and uh, join a team in these uh, crazy fights. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, I adapted a bit, but uh, it's important to not like uh, get too tunneled on how uh, solo queues because scrims are obviously always different. Yeah, and uh, like you say rightfully, right, that, that scrims are going to be different, but still, um, at Worlds, you're also going to play against teams that can be very aggressive. Now, against uh, Mad Lions in the uh, summer split playoffs, you guys did switch your strategy and played far more aggressively than you guys did against Fnatic. Um, so, how has playing on this server, like, Help has that in any way helped you to learn how to play even more aggressively? And and um, because Rogue traditionally plays this slower style, right? That's what you guys became known for, like skill into the late game and uh, win that way. But has yep. playing in in China and maybe even in scrims also helped you to polish that aggressive play style more as a team? Uh. Maybe so kept a little bit with the aggressiveness, but not that much, I think. I mean, Scrims is the most important thing. Uh, and Scrims the team uh, makes you learn a lot. And there's also this, this meta right now with carry anglers, uh, a lot of carry anglers, which we didn't play for uh, most of the split, right? Just mm -hmm. at the end of the split. So we're still uh, learning to become really good at that style. Uh, so that's the most important thing, I think. Mm. Now, Just learn from Scrims. Yeah. And... We, as I said, we're, we're the, uh, and I'll, I'll repeat again, we're not going to talk too much in depth about scrims, but in general, how have you found uh, the scrimming uh, in, in from the hotel and against these international teams? Um, have you been impressed by the by the international competition, or um, do you not really care too much about how they play because it's just scrims? Uh, I mean, the international competition is definitely the scrims are harder than in EU. Which is uh, quite obvious since it's like top three teams from Korea, top three teams from, oh, top four teams from LPL. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't feel like they're crazy good. I, it's like I don't feel like the games are unwinnable or anything. Like maybe in season four, season five, season six, uh, EU teams maybe felt like like scream, uh, playing against SK teams and stuff like this was unwinnable kinda. But right now they're good, right? And if you make mistakes, they'll punish you, and it's kind of GG if you're not playing well. Like if you're not playing well, they will stomp you. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if we're playing well, we will have really good chance at winning against uh, every team at Worlds. Yeah, and that slots uh, nicely in, into uh, what I want to talk about next because when the groups were drawn, many people, you know, were like, "Ooh, that's gonna be a rough one for Rogue with uh, with Damon Gaming, the undisputed best team from the LCK, and then JDG, who literally went toe to toe with top esports uh, in in the LPL." So how? Do you feel about the group uh, at the moment? You know, after you've you've also been screaming and practicing, probably against those teams as well. Uh, and there's two sides to the coin, right? Uh, obviously, it would be nice to have an easier group. Uh, 
because it gives you a higher chance to get out of group threat. But also there's the nice side where you have like less pressure and it feels more fun to play against like the best teams, kinda. Mm -hmm. So it feels like we have nothing to lose, kinda, since uh, yeah, I mean all these memes that we're doomed and shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, kinda gives us less pressure to be in a hard group. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I definitely don't feel like any game is unwinnable, right? I feel like we can win against any team. So I kind of don't mind which uh, team we have in our group because I feel like the only thing that matters is how we play. Like if if we play good, we will get uh, we have good chance to get out of groups. And if we play bad, we we won't get out of groups. And I feel like every group would be kind of the same. There's no like easy group. Mm -hmm. for, uh, yeah, it's kind of impossible for us to, to get an easy group. So. I mean, if we play well, we can get groups, and if we don't, we will go out right. So right. I don't is think it, about it too much. Is that on under, so dog position? Is that a comfortable spot for you guys? Because you were maybe also in the same spot against G two in the semifinals of the summer split. Mm, I mean, it's definitely nicer, I think, but I don't think we care too much if we like the underdogs or I mean, I don't think we care about what like the outsiders uh, say about us. I mean, at least I don't. I mean, I don't care if people will hype us up or if people will right. say that we probably will lose. It doesn't like change how I play the game. It doesn't change my like how I go into the games. I will always have the same mindset. But but you did so, just yeah. say that it takes some pressure off you, maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does, right? Uh, for the team, especially, I think. For me, I don't mind that much, but it's. I mean, it definitely like takes a bit of pressure off you, right? But even though I don't care that much that much about it, but it definitely like gives you less pressure, kind of. And it feels like you have nothing to lose a bit. Right. All but right, sometimes man. I like uh, wake up kind of and I'm like, I just wish we had an easier group, man. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's just how it is. The, you know, obviously, everybody was rooting for for the Rogue TSM uh, group. But do, do you think... Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, like, do, do you think that that group would have been a, a whole lot easier? Uh, you would have TSM and Genji um but then you'd have the fact that maybe people a lot of people and you yourself expect you to make it out of that group and not have and you'd have that extra pressure on you i mean it uh, would be a group right uh but uh yeah I, I don't i try to not like think about it or anything too much it's like now we have jdg and uh Danbon, so now we just need to beat them and that's mm -hmm. that's it it's like you can't yeah you can't rely on the uh the draw right Okay, so final final question is gonna be because you're gonna be out of quarantine soon. Um, what are you most looking forward to when you once you get out of quarantine? Is it um, like joking uh, with Inspired or is it uh, getting some food? Just seeing people in general, getting fresh air. What what are you looking forward to? Uh, like trying the Chinese food and like trying all the Chinese food. It, uh, it's kind of exciting to like yeah get some different food than the hotel one. Uh, and just scream with like the team in the same room it would be way more fun I think and they will get like way more uh, motivation I think than like sitting in this, alone in this room and just being alone I think that's uh, that's what I'm most excited about like the food and just scream together mm -hmm. what I'm not excited about is like hearing the Polish guy screaming while playing solo queue and stuff like this but <laughs> yeah it, it's worth it anyway do you, do you not are you not in a room next to each other then is that uh I mean, not, just not hear them. We are close. Uh, I don't hear them. Yeah, we we don't in the quarantine. We don't hear each other really. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're in room like beside each other, but yeah, I mean, I don't hear them. Okay. Okay. Well, man, I I wish you the best of luck and and a lot of strength for these final days of quarantine. Um, and also good luck in the rest of your preparation. Thank you.